Hey, if you are a home automation enthusiast, and you are looking for a perfect automation system, then watch this video till the end. Because in this video, I am going to show you the ultimate home automation solution ever. Let's get started. This is a 12 channel relay board, controlled by an ESP32 microcontroller. It also has 12 button inputs. Using this board, you can control up to 12 appliances, over the internet, or without the internet, both physically and remotely, with real-time feedback. Isn't that amazing? I have designed this custom PCB for this project, and ordered it from Rapid Circuit, an Indian PCB manufacturer with excellent manufacturing capabilities. The build quality looks fantastic, as you can see here. The overall dimension of this board is 120 by 120 millimeters. We also need these components. After assembling, it looks something like this. This is the ESP32 DaveCut module. This project utilizes all of its 35 available GPIOs. I am going to use the Blink application for this project. Let's see how to set it up. First start a new project. Click on the settings icon, and give it a name. Then select ESP32 from the device list, and choose Wi-Fi as connection type. Then add 12 button widgets. Click on the button to modify it. First give it a name. Then select pin to virtual pin B1. Change its value from 1 to 0, and select the mode as switch. Repeat this process for all 12 buttons and it's done. Let's move on to the coding part. Before going to the main code, here I would like to talk a little bit about the AFUs of ESP32, and why it may cause problems, if pulled high during boot. GPIO 12 is used as a bootstrapping pin, to select output voltage of an internal regulator, which powers the flash chip. This pin has an internal pull-down, so if left unconnected, it will read low at reset, selecting default 3.3 volts operation. But if pulled high, the ESP32 modules may fail to boot. To prevent this, you need to burn the AFUs. That can be done by uploading this code. You only have to upload it once, and this is a permanent solution. This is the main code for this project. First you need to include your Blink authentication token. Then the SSID and password of your Wi-Fi network. Then here, I have defined the relay pins, the switch pins, and the virtual pins. Next I made an array, for all the relay states and switch states. This defines whenever we get an input from the Blink application, we will change the relay state accordingly. Then here we configure, how the relay states synchronize with the Blink server, whenever any network interruption occurs. This command will follow hardware states, while this will follow software states. We will see that in a moment. Then in the setup section, we set the status pin as output. Switch pins as input. Relay pins as output, and set the relay state to high, to initially turn off the relays. Then we set a timer function, whose job is to check whether the Wi-Fi is connected to the network or not. And if not, then it will try to reconnect. Then in the loop section, if the Wi-Fi is connected, then we go to this function. Here if the Blink server is connected, then it will read the switch state, and if it's low then we will toggle the relay, and publish that to the Blink application. And when there is no internet, it will do the same thing, except for the Blink part. That's all about the coding, let's see it in action. For this demo, I am using 6 light bulbs, and 6 switches. But it will work the same for 12 appliances as well. Here as you can see, the onboard LED is turned on, indicating that our module is successfully connected to the internet. 
Now we can remotely control our appliances from the Blink application. We can also use the physical switches to turn the bulbs on and off. So we are successfully able to control the relays using switches as well as from Blink application with or without the internet. Here comes the synchronization thing we talked earlier. If we prefer to keep the current hardware states, it will work like this. When internet connection is not available, as indicated by the status LED we can still use the switches to operate the devices, just like we normally do. And when the internet connection is back, the current relay states are automatically updated on the Blink application. And if we use the other command, then after reconnecting, the module will delete all the changes we have made offline, and follow the button states in the app. Use this as per your convenience. If you find this project interesting, or it helps you anyways, then please drop a like. Consider subscribing to this channel, as I often make such electronics projects. Also, check out my previous projects.